Hey, what is happening? What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for clicking on the video. In this video, quick one, no tutorial today, but I'm going to show you a quick add on that you can try for free and then you can buy a upgraded version of it if you like it. So, not sponsored, not paid, just this popped up in my emails from Blender Market and it was free. So, I downloaded it, tried it out, and thought I'd just make a video and just let you know about it. Okay, so it's called Alt Tab Easy Fog. You can see you get a free version, personal version. So it's very affordable. And then it allows you to create fog with different presets. You can see in this video showing you how. You can see you get three presets with a free version. No future updates. Only works in Blender 3.4 and 3.5. Okay. So let me quickly show you how to use it. So you can just click here, purchase, download it. Once you're in Blender, you go to edit, preferences, just like any other add-on, install, download, and just find it. It will be this one, alt tab easy. Okay, click on it, install, then it will be here. This one. Okay, you can just enable it, say preferences, and then it will pop up here. And this is it. Okay, so let me show you how to use it quickly. Let me pull up a quick scene. Okay, so here yeah, I've got a scene with some fog that I created myself with this cube. Okay, so what I'm going to do is delete it. Okay, now let's try and add some fog. So what you want to do is go here, click on this, and then what you want to do is where you want to apply the fog. So let's say I want to apply it here. Then you just say select, and you say apply to select it, and apply it to here. And you can see we'll need to apply it to the trees as well. So select this, hold down shift, click tree, Click tree and then click apply. And then you can see we get a bit of fog here. And then what you can do is you can scale it up, make it more, and you can see you can just bring it to like that and you can just play around with with it. Obviously, what you could do. Okay, let's see if I delete this cube. Add another one. Let's go mesh, cube S, scale it, and then try and add this to the cube. Cube is selected, apply the fog. Okay, and it looks better. So you can always do something like that. Like I said, I'm just figuring out on my own. You can see the cube is now like foggy it's an easy way to create fog okay and then like i said it comes with presets so that one that one you can hear my computer is getting charred so you can literally download the four dollar version which has got all the presets or you can use the free one but yeah Hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did. Smash the like button and I'll see you next.